Hey, this is Anthony from Absol TV. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Arai Corsair X helmet, available at Revzilla.com. The 10th generation, that's your X. This is the replacement for the Corsair 5. This is the Corsair 10 or the Corsair X from Mirai. At first glance, I have the gloss white in front of me. This is the top of the food chain race thoroughbred from Arai. This is a helmet that has been going strong for nearly 40 years in its 10th iteration. And you can see to my left, this is the Corsair V. So side by side, if I slide it over really quickly, at first glance, you're gonna say it feels really similar. But I will tell you, they've improved just about everything they've attacked, they've tweaked, and from the ground up, this helmet has a lot of improvements across the board. Now, I will say, when it comes to super premium top of the food chain race helmets, the Corsair 5 was the big dog until the Corsair 10 came out. But I'll also note what Arai has done for the first time in a while on a helmet that's geared for this race positioning. They listen to the consumers. They know that racers are wearing this helmet all over the board. That's what it's designed for. But the big changes, in my opinion, once you get past the aerodynamic qualities of the new version and some of the new protective features they're doing with a new PB SNC2 shield, or shell rather, the big changes are gonna be consumer centric. So we always knew it was a little bit more of a fickle helmet. There's a lot going on here. You can't leave it in, trunk, in your trunk and let it rattle around. What we're seeing from the Corsair 10 is they've rectified a lot of that stuff. So now the side pod mechanism, it's been streamlined, it's different, it's now connected to the helmet. It's not gonna be as fickle as it was before. It's now a quieter helmet. This helmet is going to come in and be much quieter at speed based on the redesign of your vent configuration and how some of it's laid out. It also gets a bit more aerodynamic in the shape, so both for racer and consumer riding off of the track or on the track, you're gonna feel the benefit there. The other things they did, they updated the interior guts. It's now an EcoPure liner, which is gonna be more comfortable, a bit more antimicrobial. It's gonna be now adjustable, and they've given you the temple adjustments as well as a top of the head adjustment, which we've never seen before. You can now pull away across the tear-offs that are gonna live within the cheek pads, and they've also redefined the shape of the cheek pad. It's gonna be a little thinner. And again, we pull this guy completely apart, we're gonna walk through that nuance. Also find a full chin curtain that's removable as well. So when we think about those changes, again, they're geared for the rider that takes it to the track, but also rides it on the street, which is a huge contingent out there, and they're already doing a great job of supporting the rider that's going to the racetrack or the professional racer. Now, let's talk briefly about some of the other key nuances that bring it together and some of the sizing and fit. Remember, you're looking at a super premium shell. It's going to be handmade, super lightweight. Three pounds, 11 ounces on the new Corsair 10. The previous version was three pounds, eight ounces for a size medium. Again, new Snell standard, Snell 2015, as well as DOT. They've actually gone up three ounces. Really, that would be my only gripe here is I wish they could have figured out a way to keep that weight the same versus getting closer to that four pound mark. Now, if you think about fitment, intermediate oval in its head shape, a little bit longer front to back. Again, that's predominantly what we see within the American market. It's gonna be down the middle of the fairway, fit most people unless you're really, really long and oval, or you're really, really round. But the nice part with this new version is again, you heard me talk about it earlier, the cheek pads are now a little bit slimmer. You could always go up or down a size, but the previous version was just too tight. It was too race fit across the board. People complained and said, I like to be able to beef them up when I want, but I wish for everyday riding they were a little bit less obtrusive. So they've refined those. Remember what I said, you can also now refine the comfort liner. So there are five millimeter tear offs at the temple, five millimeter tear offs at those cheek pads. So again, you're able to customize the fit, which you couldn't do on the previous version, the Corsair 5. What you can also do now for the first time in any Arai helmet is the comfort liner on the interior has the ability to become greater or less by way of a ratchet system on top of the head that you won't feel. So again, increasing or decreasing the volume. So remember, intermediate oval, but you can tune it. Again, this is a top of the food chain type product and you're giving, that, giving you that nuance and flexibility. Remember, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks and use the size chart. Use the sky chart, align you up with the size, but don't worry about it. You can give us a ring if you have any questions. Now remember, I would love it if you'd click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, leave me your comments, your questions, and your feedback on the new Arai Corsair 10 or Corsair X, and I'd love to hear what your favorite of the new changes are going to be, knowing that the bulk of our audience are really guys and gals that are riding on the street and the track, not just a professional racer. Now, if we dive into the helmet and work our way from the outside in, let's give it a full pull. Remember, 
The shell itself is gonna be handmade from Arai. It takes days to do these helmets. It's QC'd every other one, handmade in the original factories. Premium materials, again, that's what you're investing in to get all these features and get it this light and still maintain its safety rating. The PBSNC2 shell is coming in five different shells for five different sizes of helmets to keep that weight down. But again, you're looking at carbon fiber, Dyneema, organic resins. It's that SNC, that structural net composite that Arai does. Now, one of the things that they did here is they actually lowered where the where the side pods go on this new version of the helmet compared to the old one, then they've reinforced the band that comes up here across the brow line. So again, they're giving you a greater deal of protection moving into this latest iteration. The other piece, if we look at the ventilation scheme, remember I told you this helmet's going to be quiet and there's a few things they did to optimize that. The first one is they changed to the new IC5 vent on top. And you're gonna see all the vents have a different actuation. They're easier to use with a gloved hand. The previous version had very small flip sliders and they were a lot tougher to use. These are much easier to use, especially starting with this IC5. You still see your seven vents going across the top of the helmet, but they're quieter because they've eliminated the cutouts. So now now when you close the vent, it completely closes off the tunnel or the channel. You'll see that fully open, fully close, and they've eliminated it. If I pull this one around to the side here, you'll see right here on the side there are these cutaways, these slashes. And what that does is when you close the previous vents, what would happen is you still had airflow through the channel. Now, if you're on the racetrack, you're wearing earplugs. You're not worried about the noise of the helmet. But again, designing for the consumer, making a quieter helmet for everyday riding, that's something that people really care about without having to wear earplugs every time. The other nice, nice part about this helmet is the ventilation went up about 19% moving to this IC5 versus the original version. Now, if we stick in our venting here, I'm gonna move down to the shield. Two brow vents that existed on the previous model, they vent in, they vent to the temple, and then that air carries from the pressure point, heat away from your body, cooling your blood, again, keeping you cooler. One of the other cool things they did is they gave these two retractors. Now, there's now two internal vents on both sides. They're almost impossible to see here. And what happens is they pull warm, moist air from inside the face shield area around your face, your breath, and they're gonna suck it out and it's gonna exit out the winglet on the side. So they've added a secondary internal vent that's coming as an exhaust through the area that your face would sit in. Now, moving down to the chin, it's still two position. It's cracked, it's open to the face or to the shield. And the other thing they did here in redesigning this helmet really from the ground up, is it's now the new VAS V shield system, which is, in my opinion, one of the big changes. This is the biggest pain in the ass point on a Corsair 5 that changes, that's rectified now for the everyday rider or the hardcore rider on the Corsair 10. So if I turn it sideways, you're gonna see the side pods look pretty similar. You can see how that looks. Notice it's a little higher here, it comes a little lower here, but down here you're gonna see that there is this little piece and that's integrated. So now what you have the ability to do is I lift up this VASV shield, which remember, optically correct, it's gonna be UV proof. You can see that it's using a Pinlock Max Vision shield, that the lens comes in the box. So that is your fog free that's baked in, you're getting it stock out of the box. But here's the change mechanism. Watch when I push on this little lever. The side pod pops right off and it's got a tether, it doesn't get away. It's amazing. Now remember, if you've ever owned one of the previous versions, if I move that side pod off, it's a pain to get back on and you can very easily break it. And again, this helmet has this mechanism to where the shield change actually pops off. So when I move it up and down, I have to look for it, I have to find it, much tougher to use. On this version, I'm gonna show you how easy this is to put back on, it's that simple. It pops right on. So I'm gonna remove it one more time, pops off. Now to get the shield off, all I do is I push it, it pops out and I rotate this gold on top of the red and the entire shield comes right off. Now that is a tremendous improvement. They've changed the game here from our expectations and I hope this mechanism, the VASV, is rolled out across the entire line. Watch me reinstall it. I'm gonna put it down, I line up my red, I move it down, it pops back into place, I pull up my side pod and I'm done. That's never been done on an Arai that easy. Bravo, Japan, you took it to the next level. Now, one of the other cool things, I'm gonna remove it one more time here, make sure this stays in place. Watch as this comes down. Now you have the ability with this new VASV shield to actually create a better seal. On the previous version, you still had these pucks that live right up here, and it still slid along those pucks, but what happened is it came down and it was more of a down pressure than a back pressure. We've seen some other manufacturers, we've seen Shoei, we've seen Shark, we've seen a lot of folks do, do a mechanism now that creates a better seal in head checks, a better seal for the helmet around this gasket from the weather. Now with the variable axis system, you have it, it comes down and it locks into place. So again, massive improvement there. 
Let me put this guy back on, prove to you up. Oh, it has to be in the up position. There we go, I violated my own rules here. But that's how simple that is. And again, for me to do that on the fly, real time in a video, sometimes I'm like, oof, do we really wanna take off the Arai Shield mid video? I just did it three times for you. It's that simple, you're not gonna be able to screw it up, you're not gonna lose your side pods, and you're not gonna break them when you're changing shields. So again, remember that that is a huge upgrade. You can see here, I'm looking, making sure I'm not forgetting anything on this full redesign of the shield. Now remember, with the exterior, you still have the standards from Arai, the R75 shell. They go as spherical as possible, and you build in this Hyper Ridge. They're doing that because it's an energy management system. This helmet is designed to be as round as possible so that when you touch down, hit an object, hit the ground, it's meant to turn everything into a glancing Low. That is by design. That's why you don't see some of the angular lines we see on other helmets. The other thing you're going to notice is the the Hyper Ridge still exists. And remember, that is a ridge to try to bounce energy back to the helmet versus transferring it down to the neck roll and potentially into your body. Again, all of this by design. Now I flip the helmet around to the back, you're gonna see these winglets, we already talked about them being exhaust for the helmet, now from the eye port as well. And remember, the Arai Corsair 10 is part of the Arai Corsair lineage that has the adjustable wing for downforce. So again, you push it in to move it up and down, but you now have that adjustability. And again, they've streamlined the way that these come together they're already more quiet, but now instead of being flared, and I'm actually gonna pull the other one back here, you can see the flare here if I put them right next to each other. Now they're more mohawky. you can see the flare there. And what happens here with this flare is they're diverting air to the edges instead of diverting air back. And by diverting air back, they made it more aerodynamic because it's going to increase the downforce. It's gonna create stability at speed when you're in the tuck with your chin on the tank. So again, that's doing testing, that's R&D, and that's also listening to consumer feedback, which they've done so well. Now if I grab my donut here, let's bust this guy out on its side. There's a lot. I promise the interior is going to be as beefy as the exterior and all the things they change. The first thing you're going to notice is that there's now a chin curtain. And the chin curtain pops out like this and it moves. It actually comes over to the side. I'm going to pull it. There we go. Fully removable. A ride never done the chin curtain. We love the chin curtain, especially when you're riding in cold weather climates and you're not on the racetrack. They typically done this integrated spoiler, which they had before, it's still here. Notice that that still exists, but now they have a chin curtain that goes on top of it. So again, nice feature upgrade. You're gonna see this blue, that's the new EcoPure lining. Again, antimicrobial, wicking, more comfortable against the skin, the next generation over the regular Coolmax from Arai. You'll also notice that they've changed how they've done the emergency cheek pad removal system. They've moved these tabs up, they're easier to find for rescuers. You still have a neck roll in the back here that's gonna exhaust with air coming down along the mohawk, the back of your head and exhausting out the back. And remember, this is rubber. It's a rubberized neck roll piece here on the side. You see how I'm pulling that up? It is going to be friendly for a comm unit. Now, if you're buying this helmet, God bless you, you're spending over $800 on a helmet that's designed to be perfectly aerodynamic in the tuck on the racetrack. But I know a ton of people, including one of my co-founders, Nick, who wears an Arai Corsair and he puts his Cena unit on the side. You have the ability to sticky mount, you have the ability to clamp mount, and remember, they improve the speaker cutaway now, so it's easier for you to get speakers in this helmet if you wanna add them. So, let's start pulling apart our guts here. Again, there's a lot that goes into an Arai interior. And remember, I'm pulling my cheek pads out first. They're actually connected. There's my cheek pad. Remember, EcoPure antimicrobial wicking, you can see the width is going to be a little bit less. A Little bit less contour. They use that FCS, the facial contour system. But again, they've minimized it this year, sliced it down just a little bit. You can always get the beefier one. Still meant to be race fit and give great support across the jawline, but they have changed it. Now, if I pull this off like this as well, the pad, what you're going to see is here's my tearaway. So I have the ability to pull some of those layers off, and now I have the ability to tune the cheek pad, and then I also have the tear off for the speaker pocket. So that's where I'd install my speaker, that's new. So again, making sure it's not creating a pressure point against your ear. Now, if I go back into the helmet, let me pull my other speaker pocket out, or my other cheek pad. And what I'm doing is I'm detaching the neck roll because I wanna do that next on its own. Now I'm pulling that guy out. There's my left side. And remember, there's your emergency cheek pad removal system. EMT grabs it, pulls it out, you're all done. If you're out cold, they're gonna be able to move this off of your head without moving you. And remember, neck rolls on a ride typically go to the side, comes out just that easy. We see still the same EcoPure leather on the bottom. You see the ventilation that's baked in again creating that great seal, depending on you're wearing a race suit or wearing a jacket. So much of the quiet of a helmet comes from the fact of how they've designed the helmet and the neck roll to interface with your body and your gear. Now, if we look at the interior, you're still seeing that blue, it's the EcoPure. Remember, double D-ring construction, they will never deviate from that. I wanna show you one more thing as we open it up here. The inside, they've actually cut away 
right below the chin vent, there was some talk in the previous Corsair 5 and previous models I guess the previous nine, that there wasn't enough room for the chin. And what they've done is they've given you a little bit of a contour in here, a little bit of a scalloped detent, so now you have a little bit more room for your face. Again, keeping the same protection scheme, but just tweaking the helmet to be more comfortable. Now, if I pull out my comfort liner, this is where it gets fun again, for me at least, because this is progression, progression of the sport, progression of the technology. So here's my EcoPure, right? Feels very similar to the previous version. Now. What do I have? I have my five millimeter tear offs that are going to live within the templar region. But when I come up, templar rather, when I come up to the top, here are the adjusters. So notice it's a three position adjuster at the top of the head, allowing you to tweak the amount of support you're going to get from the top area of the helmet. So again, from this comfort liner across the top of your skull, you now can fine tune it. We've seen Dionese, or rather AGV, do the adjustable left to right to change the shape. Arai gives you temple, they give you cheek pad tear offs, but on the top of the helmet now, now they're giving you the ability to adjust the length of the cradle and the suspension around your head. Remember, you'll never feel these guys below the occipital ridge, these guys are far enough apart that you're not gonna feel them in your forehead either. And again, everything here is meant to get out of the way while wicking sweat. Ton of airflow, ton of sweat wicking, and the new EcoPure is their latest and greatest from a antimicrobial, anti-smell, but comfort standpoint. So if I move back into the helmet itself, you're gonna see our five key vents, vent holes along the top. I don't know why Arai doesn't do this. They don't create any grooves in their EPS. I'd love to see them potentially investigate that. Some of the other helmets that I ride in typically have those grooves and maybe it's just placebo effect, but I tend to find something like a shark with those deep grooves. It circulates air a little bit better. Again, I'm sure it's a safety decision that they're making. And when we look at those, the other thing is coming in here close to the temple. Now you can see that little cutaway. You might be able to rather, if I put it just like that, right on the inside, right there, there you go. You're going to be able to see that's the extra extractor that leads to the winglet that's going to pull warm moist air out of your face area increasing the venturi effect of this helmet not just on the skull but now around the face and improving the airflow back through the winglets so for a 10th generation 40 years of Arai Corsair, they did my favorite thing that any company can do ever whether you're a web company a product manufacturer a company that does anything that meets a consumer ask your consumer listen to them think about the use for the product and improve that way. They've always been rock solid on the protection side of things. They've always built products that are amazing from protection and comfort for the pro racer. Now they've been able to bridge the difference. So again, speaker pockets, aerodynamic qualities, you're getting better quiet, better ventilative properties inside the helmet with a slew of other things that are gonna make this easier to use, including my favorite, which is a shield change mechanism on a day-to-day -day rider that just wants the best of protection and performance out of a super premium product. Again, you're looking north of 800 bucks. Whether you get a gloss color or a graphic, whatever, you're still investing, basically saying, I want the best there is, that my head is priceless, and I'm gonna protect it and stay comfortable when I'm riding, and I'm buying a product for the long term. Remember, my only gripe here, my only gripe with this helmet, three pounds, eight ounces goes to three pounds, 11 ounces. Arai, I might have traded off some of the other things you changed to keep that down at the three and a half bar mark, because as much as your helmets are beautifully balanced, three ounces is three ounces. If you're riding in extremes, if you're riding every day, if you're doing hundreds of miles, you feel it. It's just the way it is. Now, the next step in your journey is to click the info button. You don't have to take my word for it. Read other rider reviews and check out what anyone is saying about the Arai Corsair X at RevZilla.com on our product detail page. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. And if you want to compare and contrast the Corsair X against any other Apex Predators in the helmet realm, give us a shout. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. I'm Anthony. Subscribe to us at RevZilla TV. We'll see you next time.